Oh, Goodwill, thank you. You're a dollar ninety nine. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am in Salem, Indiana. We are going to try out the Goodwill store. So let's go and see what we can find. Welcome to our love story. Oh, Cindy, there's a little, um, I'm with Cindy, by the way, my bestie. There's a little baseball. Don't you have some things sort of like that? I thought you did. Oh, we got turkeys. They're big candle turkeys. Big candle turkeys. Oh, there's a little, there's a little foxy. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen full shelves in Goodwill, so hopefully that means it's going to be a good Goodwill. Oh, here's a glass rose. It's really a dark color, though. It's $1.99. You're probably going to yell at me, but I'm not going to buy it. We have a number five girl. Oh, this is cute. Are you a name? Sometimes these eye to eye. Okay, I'm gonna put him in a cart and I'm gonna look him up because this might be a collectible that might be, um, might have some value to it. I love you, Mama. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look at his clothes. You don't even match, child. Oh. Your your blues don't match. <laughs> That's frightening. Frightening. Saw this little pot too. It's two ninety nine. Little southwestern pot. We have some sand art as well, which. I'll look at it a little bit closer, but it's very pretty. It's very like a southwestern, but I like the rainbow in there. Happy Pride, y'all. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set these aside. We have a bunch of state plates back here too. We have Nebraska, Cancun, which is not necessarily, well, I guess that is a state or in Mexico, I don't know. Virginia City, Nevada. And we've got some Homeco Bears, which I like. We've got a him. I don't know if he's got his partner or not. Oh wait, yeah, we do. He has the honey and she's got the apples. Oh my. You make motherhood look awesome. It's a squirrel. That's a heavy piece of glass too. My word. We're going to put that back there. I don't think we need to get that today. Not today. There's a cruise fun. Uh, oh, these aren't Mary Mushroom. They don't have any lids anywhere. Or anyway, I meant to say. Oh, we've got some sand art. I think it's been, um, it's Lucite. I think it's been heated up because you can't get your napkins in there anymore. It's, it's stuck. If you wake up feeling like you've had it, be grateful. Are you saucy? I think you're being saucy. Oh, here we have. I'm gonna get them, they're little shamrock girls, trios. So I am gonna pick these girls up because it's hard to find St. Patrick's Day things anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you, fishies? Oh, look, here is a drunk frog. He's got his beer bottles down there. Okay, we'll put you up here. Because let's take a look at these fishies. They are resin. They're 99 cents each, but I'm looking at these. Oh, Goodwill, thank you. You're $1.99? Oh, I mean, this is like Goodwill back in the day, Goodwill. This is great, yay! All right, so these little poly resin fish. Do I get them? I, they're not, I mean, they're, they're poly resin made in China. But I'm kind of thinking that somebody might want them. They're 2004. 
They're 99 cents, so it'll be three dollars. I think I'm going to, oh, maybe I shouldn't, but look at you. You're not glass, but you're kind of fun. And then we've got a trivet with the um, acrylic with the abalone shells. So I think I'm gonna get that too. It's a dollar ninety-nine. And then I, this is oh, this I mean like this is good. Oh, here's the bottom of a fairy lamp. Wonder if we'll find the top. I don't know. There's the bottom of the stars and bars fairy lamp there. Not seeing the top, but here's a little wooden kitty cat for ninety-nine cents. We'll put him in our stack too. What are you? I don't know. And your little decanter bourbon whiskey. You don't have your little topper though. Oh, there's one of those things. You find those at every every thrift store. Tejas for $1.99. Um, let's see. Kansas. Boy, someone went to a lot of places. What's this one? Iowa and the Great Smoky Mountains. I'm not going to buy any of those because I do have some that I actually need to sell. We gotta double check these shelves because we're finding some good things. I'm still not seeing the lid or the top of that fairy light. Maybe someone's moved it to a different spot. Oh, there's a tiger tissue holder there. Well, hello again, friends. We're back at a different Goodwill. We are in Clarksville, Indiana. There's a Goodwill right here that we're getting ready to go into and then across the street there is a Goodwill outlet that we're going to go into. I got my girl Cindy here. And so let's go in and see what we can find. Okay, it's like a nice big Goodwill. Nice big one, so we're gonna see what we can find. Oh, here, we just found some little St. Patrick's Day guys at the other Goodwill. And there's another one. Oh, they look like they are. Mad in love. I'm not going to get the bills though, but here's a little Capa de Monte style. But it's it's broken right there. So we're not going to get you. You look a little bit like Tanala. A little bit. Oh, he is. Oh, how cute. It's a little trinket, but it's left in. But they're cute little birdies. And it's actually in really good condition. I don't see any any issues with it. It's 99 cents, so I'm gonna get the cute little birdie trinket dish. All right, oh, oh here we've got little micees. They're trying to get that cheese up there on that big orange. Mama and Papa are watching. We're very near to Louisville, Kentucky, so we'll probably see a lot of Kentucky things. Oh, there's a puppy in a purse. Puppy in a purse. I'm trying to like continually talk because it never fails. The mute. Oh my word! The music is always the loudest in the hard goods section wherever I am. Fancy kitty cat. Oh. Joseph we've got some oh we've got a panda bear with no eyeballs um, I need a showcase tag for $5.99 I need a showcase tag for $5.99 please she needs a showcase tag $5.99 okay. you're kind of pretty all right here's a little Nestler egg it's a little German or Belgian I think it's German a little egg. It's 99 cents, so I think I'm going to get this little fella too. Just kind of looking at all of the other holiday things and not really seeing anything else, but I think I will pick up that for 99 cents. Right, we are inside the Goodwill outlet here in Clarksville, Indiana. They're changing out the bins right now, and so we're all just standing here waiting, waiting to get in. Right, Cindy? <laughs> we're waiting very patiently. Well, hello 
there friends and welcome to the haul portion of today's video. I got some good stuff from Goodwill y'all. Some good stuff from Goodwill. It wasn't Badwill, but I will say that, I mean, I, everything that I'm going to show you came from four different Goodwills. One of which I didn't film in because it was my local Goodwill and I didn't film anything in there. Um, and I got three things from in there. So I'll show you those things first. One of them is this wooden butterfly napkin ring uh, or napkin holder. It was 99 cents. And on the bottom of it, it says, what do you say? From Mom E. In 5 of 2006. Mom, Mom E. That's sad. Anyway, it's a wooden butterfly napkin ring or napkin holder. Very cool for 99 cents. This is a Francoma shell holder. I, I can see this in a bathroom. You can hold bath bombs in it or maybe some bath salts or so, little soaps in it. It was $1.99 and it is Francoma, which I like Francoma. You can see the Francoma there on the bottom. I like the glaze on Francoma. I don't know. It was unusual. I've not seen this one before. It was in great shape and a decent price. So I went ahead and picked that up. And honestly, I was kind of desperate because I wanted to buy some things. This guy might be decent. I'll put up the comps up here for what I found. But this is Pier 1 Imports. The mugs at my Goodwill, surprisingly, are still 69 cents. They haven't. Those prices haven't gone up. But this is Pier 1 Imports, and it is a zebra mug. And the handle is the zebra's head. You know, you hold them like that. This is Pier 1. There's no date on it, but... Some of these Pier 1 items can be can be pretty, can be worth buying. You know, if you do your research while you're at the thrift store, see if it's worth reselling, make sure that it's in good condition, and, you know, this will be something that will probably go up on eBay. All right, that's the three things that I got from the Goodwill that I didn't film at. The next Goodwill that I went to was in Salem, Indiana. It's, it's a really good one. I really like that place. Uh, I found this little uh, trivet, hot plate. Heat-resistant plastics made with shells gathered by divers from the Pacific Ocean. Hyler Enterprises. It was $1.99. And it is sort of a blue uh, acrylic or resin with these abalone shells that were apparently cultivated from divers from the Pacific Ocean. Uh, I don't know. It's really pretty. Nice little trivet hot plate with a little, little legs on it. And then I got a little blue bird of happiness. Now, sadly though, while this is a blue bird of happiness, it's a little sad as well because his beak is a little broken, but it was 99 cents. And I just, I still got it. And it is signed Ron Ray 1990. I mean, if you look at him from a distance, you can't tell, but if you feel it, that's the, the thing you needed to always check is to feel the little, the little beak. And if it feels rough, then it's chipped. And this little guy has a rough beak, but it was 99 cents. And so I got it. All right. And then I got this guy. Now I will, this unfortunately isn't highly valuable as far as eBay goes, but I just couldn't resist it. It's a little alligator. At first I thought it was a dragon, but it's a little alligator. And these are eye to eye. That's the name of the little collection eye to eye official issue of the african wildlife foundation Let's show you the i can't read the name there but i will uh i'll put up a little comp of what i found for these and i double checked them he was a dollar 99 i double checked because i wanted to make sure that the little grass blades were still intact because i know with these with these sort of ceramics collectibles that really makes a really big difference but made in Thailand. I like the little bird. I don't know. It was just, it was just cute. Look at his little feet, the little webbed feet. I don't know. I thought it was in excellent condition. I thought it was cute. So I went ahead and tried it. We'll see. Still at the, um, the same Goodwill. I paid 99 cents for this little wooden cat. Just a little wooden cat. He's just so cute. I, don't know, I like cat things. So I got him. And then I got Three of these little Lefton, nope, they're not Lefton, they're Lego. L-E-G-O. 
They're bisque, which I don't like bisque, but they're little shamrock girls. See, she's holding her shamrock. There's that one. And then this girl, so they're a little different. And then their sister. They were $1.99 each, which was a good price. St. Patrick's Day things are, are difficult to find. They do have their original sticker on the bottom. Lego Japan, L-E-G-O. And then I got these fish. I don't know. They were, I think they were 99 cents each. They're modern. They're not that vintage, but they're from, well, they're from 2004. So that, that gives it away right there. But they're very colorful, tropical fish. So we've got what, I think this might be an angel fish. And then whatever kind of fish this guy is. These orange and green. And then the pink one. They were 99 cents each. And I will sell them all together as a lot, probably in a live sale. Uh, I don't know that if I was just solely selling these on eBay. Although, I mean, I'll look and see if they're worth anything. They're like a resin, like a poly resin. Um, but if I find them, I'll put the comps up there on eBay. But I, I, I think that I might be able to sell these in a live sale. I think I might have a customer for them in a live sale. And then my favorite thing that I got, and it was the thumbnail of this video, is the chalkware fish. They were taped together. I carefully took the tape off. Very, very ginger because they put tape over the front. Now the little baby has a repair. You can see his little tail's been glued back on. But the little mama and her baby fish for $1.99. And it felt good finding this at Goodwill because, you know, it's like the good old days. The good old days when you could find good vintage things at Goodwill. Sadly, that doesn't happen very often. And then I also got this little cute little trinket dish. I don't remember if I got this one. It doesn't really matter which Goodwills I got at which. I got these at two different Goodwills. And then I got, we went to the bins. And I'll show you what I got from the bins. It's over here too. But look at this cute little yellow birds. They love, there's a little boy and a little girl. It's a little, oh, oh, I have this on backwards. Let me show it the right way. There we go. The little flowers are on the front. But I checked all of the little petals and all the little petals are still good. There's no chipping on them. I didn't see if there was a tag underneath here though. There is not. They look very much like Lefton to me. Not quite sure. We'll figure that out and see. But cute little trinket. With the little yellow birds on it. I also got some games. Now two of these games I'm keeping the first of them is the refill for categories. We're getting ready to go on vacation very soon and we play a lot of games with our family when we're on vacation. This I paid $1.99. Someone was trying to sell it at a good at a garage sale for a dollar. And that's tacky, Goodwill. Listen, take the time to take off the garage sale sticker, you know, before you sell it for more money in your store. Just it's just it just looks better for you. But this I am keeping, and it's a refill, so it's different categories. You know, it comes with the cards that come with the game. So this is extra, an extra set of different themes. And then I got code names. This is a really fun game to, to play. Now, this is code names Deep Undercover. It's the adults-only version. Look, see? Mature content. This is just a fun party game to play. Um... It's very complex. I'm not even going to try to explain it to you because I cannot explain games very well, but this is a fun game. They have like a non-adult version as well. The adult version is sort of like a Cards Against Humanity kind of thing, but it's a fun game to play. Now, I won't be playing this on vacation because there'll be young children around. This will be just like, like for New Year's Eve kind of game. These two games are for resale. I love to find sealed games and puzzles. I, to, to list on eBay, if you are an eBay seller and you're not going and you're not checking out the toy aisle, the games aisle, make sure that you do and look for sealed games. This is Memory Sealed. It was $1.99 and usually, I don't know if this has the date on the front of it. It doesn't, I just kind of look for the picture that was the same. Uh, and I'll put the comps up here. I'm going to say this sells for like maybe $16 and I paid $1.99 for it. So there's profit to be made there and easy to take a picture of, easy to ship, easy to list. It's easy. And then also Clue Jr. was also $1.99. 
This one does have a date of 2003. So I also found comps for this while I was in the store because that's what you should do. You should look these up in the store. If you don't already know, if it has a barcode right here, you can use your phone and take a picture of the barcode and it will pop up the active listings. You do have to go and toggle that you want to see the sold so you can get you can see what things are listed for it is an important thing to do to make sure that you see how many things are are listed i mean if there are thousands and thousands and thousands of them listed it's, i mean i'm not saying not buy it but it might sit for a little bit longer before you sell it it's also a good idea to take the tags off right away because the longer your tags sit on there the longer that well the harder that it will go off the harder it will the harder it is to get tag off. That's what I was trying to say. All right, now we're going to move on to the bins. We were not at the bins very long. Um, they do change out the bins still at this particular Goodwill outlet every hour, and we got there right at the change out. Well, like maybe 15 minutes before the change out time. And it takes a while because they, they move every bin out and put all new bins in, and that takes a few minutes. And if you get close to those bins when they were putting them out, they will yell at you. Trust me. I just was over there looking. They were like, step back. So don't, just word of the wise, don't look into the bins prematurely. Don't be a premature peeper into the bins because you will get yelled at. Trust me. Okay, so I got a small haul. I think I spent $6 at the bins. But two of the things I'm going to send to some friends, and one is a little poo. A little poo. This is made, this is from Hallmark. And it, it, I have a friend, a YouTube friend, who likes little poo things. It's an itty bitty poo. See? Itty bitty. Itty bitty poo. Hello. This is like the modern day Mr. Hanky Christmas poo, I guess. You could hide him in your Christmas tree. And the first person to find the poo wins. And then I just like this. And I'm going to send it to another friend of mine. Stay weird, you little flamingo. Stay weird, you little flamingo. All right, I did grab a little bogey. This is shirt tails and I've sold everyone. I've bought these before and I've sold every single one that I've had. This is shirt tails from back in the eighties. This is dated 1981 and he's in really good condition. It's bogey. Do y'all remember shirt tails? I love that show. And then at the bins as well was this little embroidered toaster cover. Yeah, that's good, right? Embroidered, em embroidered, not needlepoint. See, I've already forgotten. You guys have explained it to me before, but it's like the small stitching. But it has a little hole up here on top. I don't know why. For a handle? Maybe this wasn't for a toaster. Was this for something else? It's got a little hole up there. It's a little cozy for something. I have a hard time not buying these when I see them at the bins. Now, this one is a vintage Empire Plastics. The Empire ones are so much better than the crappy ones that they sell today but it is marked empire there on the bottom these are just fun to put on top of a shelf you can put some greenery in here i've even um put some mums in here and you can put them on your front porch so it's at the bins you know when you're at the bins you're like eh, it's not gonna cost that much money i'm gonna go ahead and grab it sort of like this florida now this is fun this is 1980s this is 1980s at its finest, very Miami Vice. And Goodwill tried to sell it for $2.99, but that was too much and nobody bought it. So it ended up at the bins and then I bought it. Florida with flamingos on it. I liked it. And then I got a purse. Now, why did I get a purse? Because I don't sell clothing or purses, but it was at the bins and I have a hard time saying no. This is, are you lucky brand? Yeah, Lucky Brand, vintage inspired. It's a suede. I like the color, but it's leather and suede, and it's very, very clean. So I thought I have other some, some other purses, so maybe I can have a purse sale one time on Instagram or something. But it doesn't weigh very much, so it's in really good condition. I have a hard time saying no. I don't have a hard time saying no to when I find undo at the bins. This is stuff is magic. I found it at the bins. It's like a purse size. You can, it, it's un, it's an unhesive, no, 
It's an adhesive remover. It is undoed. Now you can get this stuff from Amazon. It is amazing. Are you still in there? Well, that's a bummer. It's empty. Well, but here is my shameless plug for undo. <laughs> Go buy some. It won't come to you empty. But if you buy it at the bins, it might be empty. Well, that's a bummer. But I will save this bottle because it's got the little scraper on it. So I can still use it. It's still useful. All right. The, the best thing that I got from the bins, I'm excited to show you. Now, I'm going to take it home and I'm going to clean it up because it's dirty. And that is this Pyrex. Now, what is this? print called. I'll put it up on the screen. I don't know my Pyrex patterns, but I mean, it's been used. It's got a little baked on uh, residue. Um, I think that I can get this off with um, oven cleaner, I think is what I've done before. It has not been in the dishwasher, so it at least has that going for it. It's very, it's not faded at all. I will, I will be able to get those dirty, greasy spots off, but isn't this a cute little size? It is Pyrex one and one fourth quart, number 548-B. That was a good thing to find at the bins, right? You don't find Pyrex much at Goodwill anymore. That's it. That was my haul from four different Goodwills. It was a good, it was a good Goodwill trip. If there's anything that you're interested in, you can send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com, and I will let you know if it is available. You can buy directly from me. The majority of these things will end up in a live sale or on eBay. Make sure that you are following me on Instagram and that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. And my link to my eBay store is down in the description of this video. So make sure that you check out my eBay listings as well. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bum 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 bum